doing my makeup. Jim's brushing his teeth. He's talking on the phone. He's about to go get his haircut, y'all. Did I say good morning? Don't be alarmed. I'm just putting on my makeup. But I want to say good morning. I, I want to start off saying good morning. And look, my lips are like so ashy right now. Much better. I'm in the bathroom just trying to finish up my makeup. But I wanted to say good morning. I like to start off my videos by saying good morning. I just I felt like I said good morning. And it's like 11.58. So before it becomes afternoon, I want to say good morning. Good morning. Good morning today. How are you? Coffee mm -hmm. plus makeup equals a win. I'm sitting in the baby's room. I'm about to finish my hair and my makeup in here. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do as a mom. Otherwise, you would never get anything done. Hey, Itty Bear. Hey. Hey. You got, you wanna say good morning? Okay. <laughs> He's discovered his reflection. Yeah, but you be careful, cause that's a mirror. Yeah, it's a mirror. It makes you happy. Just don't headbutt yourself. That's glass. No, no. Okay. Yeah, dad, dad, dad. You see your reflection? You see it? Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, that's enough. We're at the post office. I think we got another package, guys. It's got a two hour drive. Oh, this is got a two hour drive. Oh, Yay! Yay. Yay. Carla? Carla? How are we gonna open it? We can't open it right now. We gotta go, baby. Okay. We'll open it once we get back to the house, y'all. We're on our way to the um, NEX and we got a car full of children. Barbie, yes. Bye -bye. Yes. Bye -bye. Yes. We're in the car, we're driving. The kids are eating their lunch that I packed to them. I don't know if you guys can hear me because the TV thing is loud. But the kids are eating their lunch. And we should be there probably the next 20 minutes. All of us who stood by and let scum take control of our city. But this is a democracy. When their enemies were in are you gonna finish your sandwich? Yeah, I got some chips and a cookie in there for you. Eat your sandwich. Eat your sandwich because I know once you get those chips, you're not gonna eat them. And yes, they're wearing seatbelts, y'all, because I know some of y'all be looking at them like, oh, they're wearing seatbelts. They be wearing seatbelts. They just go cross their legs Mommy. so you guys never really see Maybe. them. What is it? Okay. Look at what is it? That's the beauty of a van. Okay. We are here again at the NEX and it's Black Friday. Trying to get everybody into the store. It's chilly out here, y'all. 9 dollars not bad for some MKs. Nope, not bad. I need some sunglasses. I don't have any brown ones. Gucci, yeah, they're different. They want one twenty nine. Which is they run? Oh yeah, they normally run at three seventy five. That's a lot. It's really crowded in here. This is the Michael Kors section, you know. Us military wives love Michael Kors. 20% off. This is cute. Oh yeah, that is cute. Let's see here. They're all 20% off. Oh yeah, this is 20% off. I mean, oh look at the soft leather. 325. Jim's getting lost in the frame. Come on, Jim. Come on. How are you doing, Julian? 
Mr. doing all right? My mom just likes to be in the midst of things. I'm not going over there. That boots look toe down like a goose down. What do you have to say about Black Friday? This is your first Black Friday. Do you have anything to say? She's got nothing to say, y'all. Gigi's over there in the line trying to return something right now that she brought yesterday. But honestly, I don't think they have any good sales here at the NEX. It's pretty much exactly what it was when we came, I think, the day before Thanksgiving. So I'm not impressed. Everything's like 20% off. And they normally have those same sales on any other given, any other given day. So it's not a big deal. I, I, I'm ready to go to Target or Walmart or something. Gigi is entertaining Maximus with his own reflection. Izzy is in the stroller. Over on this way. And I'm holding Jordan. And Jim had to take Julian to the restroom. So, come to find out, Gigi was standing in the wrong line. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the line. She was standing in the wrong line to exchange her bear claws slash bugs. And so now, we're in the correct customer service line. However, Jim is a little bit perturbed right now, right? Would you say that you're perturbed? Mm -hmm. You just don't want to be out here standing in a um, customer service line on Black Friday? Yeah, near bathroom. It stinks. Near and bathroom. The doors outside that lets in the cold. Oh yeah, it is letting in the cold. We're weathering the elements, folks. It's a tough it's 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 dangerous out here in these streets. So yeah. You got anything else to say? Anything positive to say? Better not say anything at all. Just keep it nice, right? Joy to the world. Joy to the world. Okay. Let's go talk to Gigi. How are you feeling today on Black Friday? Oh, is that a boogie in your nose? That's kind of that's kind of gross. Ew, I got it. Okay, good. That's great. <laughs> Gigi, how are you feeling on this glorious day? Doing great. Doing great. Doing wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Weathering that Black Friday. Not yeah, really. I was just in the wrong line. Yeah, she was in the wrong line for like half an hour. No one just got the correct information. And uh, Jim, like I'm like, he got rocks in his mouth, but it doesn't matter. We're not coming back across his bridge, so. Yes. Mm -hmm. so we're just going to stand in this line. I mean, I'm not going to take a pair of boots back with me talking about the floor. The Everybody's entitled to their own feelings. Yeah. No, I'm just... You know, stay in the claim. Okay. Yeah, I complain about what well, he complain about coming back across the bridge and getting a ticket. Stop, or Julian. So. That's not very nice. It's if you want to say hello, you say hello. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, it's just called having patience. That's all. And I got patience to exchange it. Okay. It's well, you heard it here, folks. Hour. We'll see. They, they know we'll see. I personally feel both ways. I have patience, but I don't really want to stand in this line when I could be shopping instead of waiting on customer service right now. Like, where they do that at? No? No? Nothing to say? All right. I want to walk around. <laughs> oh, holy grudge. Okay, Mr. Grouch. Do it again, Daddy. No, don't do it again. This phone is ringing. I think the phone is ringing. Should I answer it? Should I answer it? No. Hello? Stop. Stop it. Okay. Uh huh. Stop it. I don't know. I don't really work here, but there's a gentleman right here. Here you are. She's been calling, and, they, and why would they transfer her to a phone that's in this area? Customer service, y'all. What? I'm just saying. Let's go. I answered the phone, folks. Isn't this cool right here? Jim. <laughs> yeah, people are looking at you. <laughs> no, 
That was 15 pounds that you just picked up. I can't even pick up 15 pounds. My, my wrist is weak. So weak like a baby, like a twig. Oh, yeah. Right, go like this. Look, see? Like this. Oh, um. Okay, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Wreck it, Bob. Wreck it, Ralph. Let me try. Do it. Yay. I like this Christmas tree. It's like a peacock exploded. You guys ever see? Did you, have you guys ever seen a, a bicycle like this? Oh I mean, this is this that should be like off roading, right? What is that for? Uh, no, that's for big people. It's a beach bike. Ooh. Hello, guys. Mm. Everybody wants to be <laughs> hugging mommy. <laughs> Do you guys see my shoes that I got the other day? They're MKs. Course. Get down from there. That is not a good spot to be. Can't take them nowhere, y'all. I'm telling you, can't take them nowhere. Um, boys. I, saw tree. I like that mirror. Mm. It's nice. Wow. Hey y'all, so um we're back from the NEX. What a trip that was. We survived it. Before we left, we were in the van and um, I fed the babies their food, gave them their bottles. So Jim is upstairs giving them some baths. I've changed the boys into their pajamas. They're running around the house. My mom and I were eating some good old leftovers for Thanksgiving. And I'm about to open this package from Miss Carla Murray. And it says it's from Italy? All the way from Italy, y'all loving me from over there? I don't believe it. Oh, look at this. It's different assorted candies from Italy. Y'all, I got to hide this from Jim. Like quick, I got to hide this from Jim. Holy oh Hannah. Oh girl, we about to sit in front of this camera and eat this. Hold on. That is awesome. The Barbaro Chocolatiera. Oh my gosh, Jim is gonna die. Y'all know he's Italian, right? Yeah, it's chocolates. Oh, Majani. I never heard of this stuff. And it's all in like a different language. Shut the front door, girl. I love you. Ooh. Ooh, it's not in my spirit. Oh my gosh. Look, mother, look. Look at these. Oh, now those should be good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Are they like butter cookies? These, I don't even know what they say because they're in another language. But I know Barilla, I know this brand Barilla because they sell it here in the U.S. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at these little, what are these? Biscotti. They're not biscotti. I don't know. I, I don't know. This, no, now these are biscottis. Oh, these are going in my coffee. Yes, yes, God. What's that on my? Mommy. Wow. What is it, Maximus? I want to put a different pajamas. You're wearing that pajamas tonight. Perfect for coffees. Yeah. Ooh, what flavor is this? This says Prodotto. What is it, Maximus? Kajiana? Okay, in a minute, okay? Yeah, what's wrong with your pajamas? Finish reading and what's what else is in here? Oh, this is it's all in another like handmade product in Tuscany. Oh my god. Wow. I feel so special. Jim is going to love this. Let's see here. Oh, she sent me a a postcard from Italy. That is awesome. OMG to Valencia, Jim and family. Lots of love from Florence. Oh. oh my gosh. Let me read y'all this letter, y'all. Okay, can I just say I'm completely flabbergasted that um, I have family all over the world. I mean, I can believe it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm completely flabbergasted that you sent me a package all the way from Florence, Italy. Tell her what flabbergasted means. She know what flabbergasted means. She's not an alien. Oh, no, we know that. But I'm just saying, sometimes I hope they you use not American an alien. words. No. Flabbergasted means, oh, I'm going to have to Google it. Basically, you just out of wits with things. You know, you just can't you believe just it. Shocked. You're just shocked. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. This letter reads, 
Dear Valencia and Jim, Hope this parcel finds you well. You don't know me, but I am one of your many YouTube followers who is entertained daily by the goings-on of your family. I have commented once or twice, but I guess it is a lot more personal to handwrite a letter. Mm -hmm. It sure is. Something I have never done before. Aww. Can I just say, this is just so sweet. Like, seriously. Like, oh, gosh. I recently moved from England, Liverpool. Oh, are you British? She moved from, recently moved from England, Liverpool, to Italy, Florence. And Aww. although I absolutely love it, I do get a little homesick and lonely now and then. Oh. So you can only imagine how great it feels to have a family. Although not my own. To experience daily. You have both got such wonderful and charismatic personalities. It is actually hard not to take well to you. Oh, Valencia, I find your outlook on life to be optimistic, yet real, and your approach to tackling daily struggles is always hilarious. You are a great mother and a wife and certainly the backbone of your family. Yes, she is. Oh, She is definitely that backbone. Mm -hmm. You are a role model for young women, and I am already taking notes to prepare myself for married life. Mm. Don't rush, honey, though. Don't rush. Don't rush. Take it easy. When the right one come along, true, you know, man. he'll be the right one. Mm -hmm. Please continue to be the wonderful people that you are and know that you are in the thoughts we and well wishes of again. strangers across the globe. I Baby, this is from you. freaking it's, it's, Florence, Italy. You're going to call your family. daddy on the phone and you're going to tell him that we got candy from somebody in Florence, Italy. Look at what the package says, where it's Daddy from. Is Tuscan. Wow. Daddy. It says, oh, big hugs for all your babies. These are so plus good. A gr plus a growl face for Maximus. These are so good. Do you know Those that? Those are biscottis. You put them in your coffee. Yes, you baby. Really good. All the best, show. Carla. YouTube, it's Carla special. Bruce. P.S. Enclosed are some Italian treats for your family. Enjoy. And two tops oh, for it's the twins. Pinocchio. Aww. Tops? I didn't see any tops. Oh, oh yeah, they are. What are they? Open it up. Oh, <laughs> oh one says princess. <laughs> no, it says Pinocchio. Oh man, this thing's just gonna fit oh, her. Oh my gosh, it smells good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Wow. This, wow. This, wow. What this does Ferranze for, really... for mean? Wow. That's so nice. Jim, can you believe that? They from Jim's motherland. <laughs> y'all, did y'all know that Jim mother, is Italian? My grandmother. Your motherland. You know, oh, like my motherland yeah. is Africa. There he go again, y'all. His... Maximus, come here. What's wrong? But you got a living grandmother. Though. Yeah, you have a living Italy grandmother, and yeah. From, and she's yeah. from Italy. Yes, yeah, his people is from Italy, y'all. And she's still my grandmother is from. So I bet you, if he called his dad or his grandmother or whatever, they would be like, "Yeah." My grandmother's from Malta. And my father, uh, my grandfather's from. Wow. Uh, what? Okay. My grandmother. Uh, my I'm excited to Sicily. eat these. Dunk this in my coffee. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. My grandmother's from Sicily. My grandfather's from. Uh, or excuse me. My grandmother's from Malta. And my grandfather's from Sicily. I thought your grandmother was Sicilian, no, and that your grandfather was Maltese. Maltese. No. My oh. grandmother's Maltese. How you doing? Who you call? You call her daddy? Yeah. Tell him. Yeah. So cool. What you want, Maxie? I want to get this on you, Mom. All right. Dinner's done. Now we are sitting here. We're going to watch Dusty. I got my pie. Wait. You got to play it from the beginning because I didn't see it. Let me see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My pie going to spill on the floor. Hold on. Let me see. It is nothing clay. From the beginning, I want to see it from the beginning. All right. Dedicated to the courage for everybody yeah. to the world. Okay. <laughs> Let's watch this day. Yeah. yeah. This is what you do when you have children. Yeah. Cool. You make them cool. do things around the house. Cool. No. Or for you. Grab my, grab my heel. Helping his daddy take off his shoes because Jim is just too full right now. He can't get it. 
Oh, the cool. body. Yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. oh, cool. up. Cool. Or not. Yay! Yay! You gonna take off my shoes too? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Can you do it? Yep. Oh. I, I like <laughs> okay, well that's okay. Hey y'all, guess where we're at? We're in Target for Black Friday. We came in here because I saw online it's 40% off. All clothes for the whole family. Like how cool is that? Like you just can't miss out on a deal like that. And my favorite t-shirts y'all. My mom's shirts to wear for 40% off, but like everybody grabbed all of the sizes that I wear. I wear a large. All the larges are gone. Woo, woo, woo. We are trying to get out of the store now. We gotta go get some trash bags though. It is quiet in here. You can't even tell that it was Black Friday in here. It's just like any other day. Maybe because they opened yesterday, which Kind of takes away from Black Friday to me. Um, they're in the back. It says trash bags. Tupperware. Yeah. So. It's in the closet downstairs. In that under the stairs. Uh-huh. I do wear those. But I wore them one day. And I think it was raining and they got wet. So I left them out to dry. So that's why they got placed in the closet over there. I have lots of pajama shoes around here, or house shoes, I should say. Like these Hello Kitty pajama shoes. House shoes, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so me and my mom, we just got back from Tarjay for the Black Friday thing. And I got a couple of things, but I'll do like a completely separate video to show you guys everything that I got over this whole week of just shopping. But can I just say that Christmas shopping is done for the kids? Like, so glad about that. So that next month <laughs> we won't be like pinching pennies or whatever, trying to figure out how we're going to get toys or whatever. Everything's like good, you know? And that's always good. However, I'm learning that with children, especially when you have a lot of children, um, the quantity of toys does not matter. Now growing up, me and my sister, we always got like an abundant amount of toys because it was just the two of us. And uh, my parents always just got us so many toys. But I can say now seeing Julian and Maximus and last year what they got for Christmas, a lot of the toys kind of went to the wayside or whatever or they got broken or whatever. So this year, um, I only got things that I knew for sure that the boys would like. Y'all know what Matt Julian likes. He likes Skylander Swap Force. Let me whisper because you know the kids is always listening. Skylander Swap Force, Trap Team, whatever you call that thing. The new one that came out. Um, he wanted that. And Maximus, he's kind of like, he plays, he'll play with a cardboard box. So um, I, I, I really wanted to get him a lot of educational things because he's three. I know he looks like he could be like five or whatever, but he's three. And he's not in preschool right now. Um, he's not a, He's not able to go to preschool until next year. But until then, I wanted him to have some educational things. So um, we got him a couple of educational things. And, um, and of course, the babies, we got them like a couple of things, a couple of items. But the point is, is that I just think uh, Christmas is important to stress that it's not about what, what you're getting. It's supposed to be about your family, spending time with your family. And it's nice for the kids to get something, but I don't think it's a good standard to set that they should get. They should be expecting so much because then they're always going to expect so much for Christmas. And it's, Christmas really ain't about that. And this Christmas holiday, I feel like Julian's old enough. Maximus, you know, he he's kind of here or there, you know. So, Maximus reminds me of like a drunk person trying to do a sobriety test. Sometimes they pass it and sometimes they don't, like just go straight to jail, you know? So, um, I really want to teach them like what Christmas is all about, why we call it Christmas and not um, happy holidays or a holiday tree 
You know, people want to just take the Christ out of things, and that ain't why we have Christmas trees, you know, or we celebrate Christmas because of a big old fat white man coming down the chimney. No offense to my white people, you know what I'm saying? How you doing? Oh, you are reaching out. You know what I'm saying? But that's not what it's about. It ain't about that. So, anywho, I'm rambling. Oh, that was a good little ramble, wasn't it? Let's read the names on the mug tonight before I turn off this camera. Because Jim got a movie. He got 22nd Jump Street. And the first one was hilarious. So, I can't wait to see um, the second one. Because, you know, Channing Tatum is my imaginary baby daddy. <laughs> How you doing, Channing Tatum? Channing all over you, Tatum. Tatum. Okay. So today's names on the mug are Desi with a heart. How are you, Desi with a heart? Low plays hoops. Hello, Low plays hoops. How you doing? Jan L. How are you? Dim boy D sixty eight. Richard. Eleanor Barn. Hello, Miss Eleanor. How are you? Nixter Lavelle. Is that Nixter Lavelle? I need to burp right now, but I think I, it would be considered rude if I burped on camera. But I don't feel like cutting right now. So let's just continue. I might burp in secret and be like, mm. <laughs> Nicole Scott. How you doing, Nicole Scott? Do you see your name there? Do you see your name there, Nicole Scott? Brittany James. Hey, girl, hey. Swaggerific Teen. We also have, is it Valicia or Valicia Johnson? It looks like my name. Every time I see your name pop up in the comments, I think, oh, she has my name. But then I'm like... But where she spelt my name wrong? And then I remember it's not my name, it's your name. <laughs> Mama Paul 76. Next name is Shell 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 Ems. Shelly Ems. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Forgive me. Priceless Sharon, girl. You know I had to put your name back on the mug because you have been hashtag, 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 and that. <laughs> coffee mug that I feel like you deserve to be on the coffee mug like two days in a row okay <laughs> how you doing reaching out Pricely Sharon girl yes I put you on front screen again and I said front screen with a k okay <laughs> you know I love you I'm just joking Mona Diallo Mona Diallo how you doing and Miss Sunshine. Hi, Miss Sunshine. How are you? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Hope you guys had an awesome day. And I hope that tomorrow is just as awesome for you. Okay. Um, so that's it. I'm gonna go in here and check on Jim and see what he's doing. And I'm gonna get me a little mommy beverage here. Do you guys look? Look, I'm wearing my pajamas, my ten dollar pajamas. Don't trip on the ten dollar pajamas from Walmart. Okay? Walmart is good for something. I love these pajamas. They're so comfy, they're cotton, they're soft. I got them in I think five different colors. And did I say ten dollars? Ten dolores, okay? Ten clamshells, okay? Ten pesos, okay? Ten US dollars, okay? <laughs> Reaching out. Awesome. Beyond awesome. And I had these Hello Kitty um things for like forever now. Look at my mama, she creeping. Look, she got on her ten dollar pajamas too. Hey girl, oh, hey, you. hey girl, hey. I don't have that pair. Yeah, I don't have that pair. I like it though. Yeah. Are you gonna put the movie in or not? Oh, you put it in while you're standing up. But I want to, you to come sit next to me. You're all the way over there, and I'm lonely all the way over here. I'm in my man chair. I fell asleep in it earlier. He's about to come over here, y'all. Don't worry. No, no. Yes, you are. You can call me. Happy wife. Happy life. 
But you can come over here. Repeat after me. I already know that. Oh. So put the movie in and then come over here. No. Look, I ain't, look, look here, little daddy. Look here, little daddy. I ain't got time to be begging no man for nothing. Okay? All right, look here, little mama. Look here, little daddy. Go on and put that movie in there and come over here. Why? You can come over here. Look at how much room there is right here. Look, ain't nobody got time to be begging like he sweat for you, okay? Ain't nobody got time for that. Y'all, I know this was supposed to be the end of the vlog, and I didn't get to say good night. That was yesterday, and now it's today in the late evening. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas, but that's because I've been cleaning all day. So you guys will see me in these pajamas tomorrow, majority of the day. But that's okay, because that's how I'm living my life. What are you escaping to, sir? Huh? Sir? Sir? You so wrong. He don't want to come up here and help me clean. Jim? I need your help. He do. Boy, he he plead the blood over cleaning. You hear me? He does not like cleaning. Okay, y'all. Gotta go. See you guys in the next vlog. Okay? Bye.